All right, so good day, everybody. Uh, welcome back to my uh, channel. Today, I'm going to be installing some Artec fender liners for my Jeep. How she currently looks right now. Let me show you. So clearly, I need some fender liners. And I happened to get them in the mail yesterday. So I'm very happy about this. Um, the quality looks amazing. And the best part about it was the price. Here's one piece. These were $230 after taxes. Oh, I can see there's all four pieces. So I'm going to paint them to a rubbery coat. I forgot the... It's like a rhino liner type stuff. This right here, undercoat, prevent from uh, rust, but it's aluminum, so it shouldn't. But I don't want that that bright chrome or bright aluminum to, you know, reflect because I got rock lights in right there. So yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna figure this out. All right. So for this next part, ha. So you'll see I painted this. It's drying up still, so that's fine. But. This plastic cap, I'm on the passenger side. This had to be, oh shit, fucking bitch, damn it to hell. Hold on, hold on. All right, so <laughs> this little screw right here, uh, along with this little cap that comes with the package, goes right behind there to now bolt this back in place with that. All right, so one thing they don't show in the tutorial from uh, our tech on YouTube is it, it's a bitch to get behind here. I mean, if you want to take off the tires, you can. So far, I'm doing it without it. So to get this screw in, it's a size 11 nut that goes behind it. So you get the size 11, small ratchet. Stick your arm behind through there if your arm is small enough. And I know, uh, do you lift even, you know? Uh, <laughs> and then, yeah. You get that one, and that one standing by. That's where we are so far. And I can't explain how how useful having this is. Right now at Lowe's, uh, two of these awesome things for 130 bucks. So yeah, recommend it highly. All right, I have to go to work for a little bit, but I'm now back to this. So um, what I did was I mounted up the big piece of the fender liner to the smaller piece of the fender liner put it all on and marked off where I was gonna need to drill um, I basically I undid the bolts but you have to bolt it all up this goes on top of this piece and it slides right into this piece so uh, there's that it didn't explain that part too well in the tutorial but you, uh, you probably can see them I marked off right there. I have to make a hole right there for the rivet. Make another hole right there for that rivet. And then make one hole right there for the last one. And the way I did that, I literally lined up all this and pressed it in. It's aluminum. Got it as nice and tight as I could. And then marked it off with a Sharpie. So that's where I'm at so far. All right, so got the drill. And the uh, I got a smaller piece of the drill, uh, smaller drill bit, so that I can make a nice size hole or a nice small hole for safety before I put in the bigger drill bit and get in. So it's basically gonna be like this. Uh, boom! It's gonna line up and then I'm gonna drill. But obviously I'm gonna put it more straight up and down. But yeah, there we go. This is the scariest thing I've ever done. But here, so. I got the 25 64th or whatever, I forgot what drill bit size this was, but got it in, loose in, there we go, got hole number two, and now I'm just missing that hole. Alright, so this part was a little confusing for me, getting the rib nut in place. So for the rib nut, wish I had two hands, but hold on. So for the installation of this rib nut, you got the little tool that comes with it. 
it, the thing was emphasizing using a stronger bolt so this one looked like a, a different color sorry for the darkness um, but I took a washer that was in the bag or if you have a washer whatever the case is you put it through the rib nut tool so right there so then you have the bolt the washer the rib nut tool and you have the rib nut so now you take this rib nut screw it into the other side boom so then screw it in all the way and then those holes that we made well wait you know what I mean all right those holes scary scary holes the rib nut is going to go in there on there ah and then over there so yeah here we go i don't make this as simple as possible I'm not judging anyone's uh uh whatever never mind so right here the first rib nut it's it's in got a clear view of it so you got the bolt the washer the rib nut tool and the rib nut itself is in there it's a size 11 so the point of a rib nut you put it on and then you start to turn 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 and it'll expand and it'll stay in there so i'll uh get that done and i'll show you all right so if you did it correctly the rib nut is now in place the tool came back out the size 11 boom right there and it's out so yeah and to explain how rib nut works just so you can uh, wrap your head around it like I, I had to to figure this out but all right so you see the rib nut right here this rib nut it's on the back side of it it's like you saw a second ago it's on the back side as you tighten this end with the size 11 it pulls this down and causes it to expand into the hole kind of like it did right there cause it to expand and now it's it's in so yeah rib nuts more to follow had a feeling I was gonna mess up and I kind of did so right here you see it's not flush so God willing I'm gonna try some percussive maintenance and see if it goes in oh bitch you did it's flush hell yeah <laughs> no mistakes just happy accidents or some peace <laughs> Bob Ross all right so rivets are all in right here so there you have it one two and three the one that I messed up on but tapped in with the hammer and it's it's in pretty good so um up next I had installed the fender Oh, and I had painted it, but, you know, life happens. It is what... No mistakes, just happy accidents. <laughs> not, not gonna lie. Very happy with the end result. So, one thing I want to add before I forget. The kit comes with... Right here. These long bolts. And these short, little stubby ones. It doesn't quite specify which go where, or at least the instructions I got didn't specify which go where. But I will tell you guys right now. Uh, these two are short. Long, long. I got a rock light going there. And long. And long. Short, short. Long. I think this was a shorty. I don't remember. But here's how it looks. Boom. Rock light. Boom. Very happy. Very, very happy. Alright, so I'm not going to bore you guys with the video for the other side. You know, it got a little bit dirty, whatever. But you can do this without taking off the tires. I'm going to throw that part out there. Um, the biggest piece that I needed and used these little guns man if you don't have one and you're a semi do-it-yourself type dude 
or girl, whichever floats your boat, or they, whatever, doesn't matter to me. Get yourself a little freaking, I don't know what to call it, impact wrench. Uh, I try to get a 3 8 impact wrench, but they don't, they don't make the, or they have them, but they're all sold out. Freaking, this bad boy right here, drill bits galore, turn the torque down, get it in, you know, call it a day. Uh, this little invaluable invaluable freaking uh i put in the video general knowledge of rivets and all in all yeah oh and a hammer hammers are extremely useful um the paint that i used again i'm not about to pay freaking these what the f what did i do with it hold up I don't know what I, I don't know what happened to it. Either way, it's scuffed up from the install. I mean, you live and you learn. It's meant to be rugged, so I mean that's how I'm gonna rationalize me, <laughs> me scratching up the uh, the trim. Um, I can't believe I lost the can. Oh well. So oh, so yeah, came out good. Oh. And that's everything, y'all.